How's it going guys? This is Jay with Kinetic and in this video I want to discuss our ground supported PA options. This is a question I get asked from technical directors all the time or potential clients. Hey, what are your systems? So we do have some equipment inventory sheets that we send out, but I thought making this video would be a lot funner and a lot more informative to show. Now things I won't cover in this video are our line array systems. We do have some mid-range and compact systems that one could argue could be deployed in a ground stack configuration, but I think those are deserving of their own video. Also, our larger subwoofers, I think, deserve their own video as well. So in this one, we're just gonna focus on our ground-supported PA options that we have in stock. Starting with our Meyer offerings, then going to our L Acoustics offerings, and finishing with a little more budget-friendly Yamaha. So let's start with Meyer. First in the lineup is the Meyer X40, and as you can see, this pairs perfectly, like wine pairing, with a Meyer 750 LFC. If you need something with a little more focused coverage, we have the Meyer X42, and then a nice replacement of the UPJ line, we have a Meyer X20. It's a little smaller, a little more compact. Looking at legacy Meyer, we have Meyer UPJ, Meyer UPM, and Meyer UMS. Now, it should be stated that all of these Meyer objects can also be uh, horizontally or vertically mounted with yoke kits onto truss or different flown configurations that we have, whether it's a uh, you know, magic clamp, cheese burrow type of thing, or horizontal bumpers or full vertical yokes. Those all exist for this line. Now let's jump over to our L Acoustics series. First in the line is going to be our L Acoustic SIVA tower with a SIVA high and a SIVA low. Now these do come with base plates. When we set this demo up, we just didn't set up the base plates, but they do come with a metal base plate frame on the bottom and detachable rubber feet. Sometimes uh, engineers have said that the SIVA low maybe lacks some of the base response that they would like for the application that's being deployed for. And because of that, we find that an SP15 is a great pairing to have with the SIVA kit. Also, sometimes we found that we wish that this was just higher, maybe get it over an audience's head a little more or throw further back into the audience. And because of that, we had some custom Apple boxes made that are 17 inches high, and that's this product right here. Walking down, of course, we have the tried and trusted L Acoustics X12 in this pole configuration with a SB15. Now, of course, this could just go on an ultimate speaker stand or any flat base stand, but this is a solid use case. And we're going to finish up with my favorite speaker, which is just the Swiss Army knife, the L Acoustics 5XT. And in this case, it's just on a pull mount, but we also have low profile 3D printed mounts that we made to put a 5XT on, and they work great for things like front fill and fold back. So if I need to hide this behind a panel or a couch or in front of a downstage lip, easy to do. Uh, clients and TDs find it very sleek and like the look of, of this as far as a front fill and fold back deployment. So that's our L Acoustics offering. Let's talk about some of our more affordable Yamaha options. So we wanted to think, keep everything really consistent within the brands that we chose. So we have our Meyer and L Acoustics offering. And then in our more affordable offerings, we just stuck with Yamaha. We thought about QSC, but we just stuck with Yamaha. We have a DHR12, DHR10, and then we also have their DZR line. We have the 12s and the 10s, but we made sure that they were all Dante enabled. I hope you guys found this video informative if there's anything you like, didn't like, or that you would change, drop your thoughts in the comments. And happy to help you guys in your productions. Thanks for watching.